technology is going to be a key criteria today. Our sense of technology in the past has been very narrow. The rise of India is deeply linked to the rise of Indian technology. Our sense of technology in the past has been very narrow. Uh, you know, and I speak here particularly from a governmental perspective. Typically, if you ask people in government, you know, what's your sense of strategic technologies, they would say, well, defense, nuclear, space. I think that's like 50 years out of date. Today, you know, there's, there's a, a completely different world there where the building of deep strengths is actually going to determine our capabilities. So to my mind, uh, in a way, you know, what we in India call Atma Nirbhar Bharat, which is like a self-reliant India, you can say a kind of an economic strategic autonomy, that is today going to be key for global rebalancing. That big players are going to consciously strive to be technologically uh, more, I don't want to be self-sufficient, but technologically more capable in order for rebalancing uh, to actually uh, uh, take place. And finally, uh, geopolitics ultimately does come down to partners and choices and with whom do you have what relationship of what consequence. Uh, and, uh, you know, there are different, uh, there are different uh, ways you can slice up multipolarity. You can look at multipolarity, you know, who are your key partners politically? Who are your key partners in trade? Who are your key partners in energy? And the answer will always be very different. So, when it comes to technology, because technology is going to be a key criteria today, I would say uh, our key partners, and this is an Indian uh, view, or this is my view of what should be India's view, uh, which is I feel who gives us access, number one, who is our collaborator, and who is our market. To my, uh, you know, uh, to, to my view, these should be the criteria of, you know, which direction the needle uh, should move. And if you look at India's geopolitical positioning, I would say it should be a kind of a net, net assessment, net assessment of politics, of energy, of economics, but increasingly of where our technological uh, interests lie. And our positioning should really give a substantial weight uh, to that uh, technology factor. So let me just conclude by saying that uh, when we speak about the rise of India, the rise of India is deeply linked to the rise of Indian technology.